The message that is on this sign here, this makeshift poster board sign by a couple wilted flowers says, no stronger bond than shared pain. It's referencing an event in the fall of 2015 in which um, a woman drove her car into a crowd of onlookers at the Oklahoma State University homecoming parade. And I've linked to uh, an article about the original event on the blog and uh, a photo that I posted not too long after that event. And it's been uh, in some ways a long time, uh, but in some ways not long at all. One of the women killed in the crash was uh, worked right below me in my building at work. And she was, her name was Bonnie. She was one of those people who is always nice, always smiling. She's always got a, a kind word. I know people say that sometimes about about people, especially after they pass away, but it really was Bonnie. She was super nice and the kind of person that you you just you want the best for in life and it was it was so tragic to hear of her passing in this uh, in this homecoming accident and i took this picture on the morning of the arraignment for the suspect in the who was charged with driving her car into the into the crowd of onlookers and here it was um more than a year later i think it's probably about uh a year and almost a year and a half later, and at the same intersection where I bike past uh, on the way to work um, every morning when I bike to work, here's uh, flowers, uh, a couple of them withered and some of them plastic, and there's a t-shirt hanging on the, the utility pole there, and it, it's still there. This is still a reminder of the events of that day. And in a sense, this the whole town is still trying to deal with this. Uh, whether you were at that intersection or on the scene as an early responder or whether you were just watching the parade like my, my wife and I were doing with our kids. We were a couple blocks down from this. Everyone in town was affected in this, uh, by this in some way or another. And I, it, it's hard to say there's no stronger bond than shared pain. I wouldn't say that personally – I'm not going to go around saying I experienced so much pain because of that day. I didn't uh, personally. I knew Bonnie, uh, who was one of the victims, but I'm uh, that for me to say uh, to count myself in the group of people who were directly affected by this, it's kind of a disingenuous because I wasn't. I just live in the town. Um, but taking this picture was a reminder to me of the experience that the whole city has kind of gone through and is in some ways still going through. Now that the uh, the individual has been um, – well, she reached a, a plea deal and she's going to be spending uh, the rest of her life in jail most likely. I, now it, it, it kind of turns to what to feel as a result. Do we feel or do I feel vindication? Do I feel relief? Do I feel angry at her? How do I feel? And I don't really know what the answer to that is. But one way that I can sort of – uh, deal with everything that happened is through photography and through something like this. And so to me, stopping taking this picture was uh, on the morning of the, of the arraignment was kind of a symbolic way of, of showing a, yet another step in this, this path that we're all taking here in town. There's not much to say about the picture itself. Um, 50 millimeter F18, there wasn't much light. I had my D7100 and um, it's not that great at, at high ISO, but I think this is 3200 ISO, and I've intentionally desaturated it a bit, uh, put a little bit of vignette. Um, I didn't want to draw attention to a lot of the colors. I wanted to make it feel kind of drab and dull and have your, your attention be pulled to the sign, which is difficult to read. I, I understand that part of it is obscured, and that's kind of how I, I intended it. I didn't want to go moving the plants around. But I did want to show the lights in the background and the street and, and you, you get kind of this sense of the world coming to life and yet there's this reminder of this tragedy. So I, I don't know what to say about this picture. Uh, I don't know if it means anything to you or not. Um, but it means something to me and that's why I'm posting it here. So anyway, I, I, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm not really sure what else I, I need to say or should say about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it and say thanks for listening.